Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good morning. I better put my glasses on because I don't know if I could see anything without it. Um, good morning. Let's see. That's better. I can see you guys clearly. Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today is Monday, 1st of February. Happy New Month to everyone. Um, yeah uni starts today um we start at 10 o'clock this morning and it's just gonna go on and on till 5 p.m today i'm really really excited to start uni um so today's video is just mainly just bringing you along with my first day of online learning i haven't done this in a while so it's kind of i hope i don't slip through it but first i've got to boil the kettle make some coffee so i have it here just to keep sipping to just keep me awake through the day because it's been long about lecture so I kind of presume or predict that I'm going to have a bit of some time where I'm going to be snoozing through whatever they are talking to me so yeah I've got to like just dose myself up on some caffeine and stuff as well besides I haven't had caffeine in a long time so I hope it's actually it's actually effective and stuff so since I didn't need, have to need to take caffeine or anything like that, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. This I'm going to be sitting at this desk from morning till evening, so I'm really, really happy. Um, I'm going to uh, get something to eat. I don't know. I'm too excited. I don't feel like I want to eat, or I feel like if I have breakfast at the moment, that can give me an upset stomach because I'm not really a breakfast person. It depends on how I feel, but I'm not feeling it this morning. But the most important thing is for me to get myself a nice cup of coffee which is very very important and then just get ready for the lecture at 10. Without a screen cutting through buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of road just to get where you are. Oh, I wish it wasn't so far. Wow, that was the first two hours of the day done. Wow, it's, it was actually good. Like, it's like I've actually missed attending lectures. It was really, really good. Like taking notes, having to listen at the same time, right as well. But one thing I think I'm struggling with is that sometimes the lectures are lecturers are too fast. But the good thing is that my lecturers are very nice enough to also record while they are teaching. So you can always go back and watch it and kind of listen to the parts that you feel like you miss and just keep the notes going. Um yeah, we just did things more on business the business side of pharmacy that's what we've just done and i think i have a break now for one hour so i'm going to maybe have breakfast or brunch i might just have a cereal or something yeah i'll call it brunch because it's like 11 to 1 um 12 to 1 rather so that's what i'm going to do right now like it's been really, really good like i'm really really happy i've been I haven't snoozed yet maybe because i've had coffee to be sincere i am so energized i'm so happy and it was really good so far 
vitamin C is quite good so yeah that's what I'll be doing I can show you the notes I've made so far on this business side of pharmacy like we would believe when I say being a pharmacist or learning to be a pharmacist is literally an all-rounder thing compared to all the sort of careers because we learn everything everything so even I was surprised when we had to do business I'm like oh I have to think like a businessman as well like okay cool but yeah um that's it my time is still going um i did put my forestry for two hours and the reason why i always put my forest on is because while i'm doing this i don't want to be tempted to check my phone or reply to messages even though i can see the notification but because this forest app is on that will stop me from using my phone and actually pay attention to the classes so you don't just use the forest app just because you're studying you can also use it for other sort of tasks if you don't want any distraction with your phone and stuff so that's it enough of talking let me go and get something to eat quickly and just look at the things i need to do because i already have a paper i need to read <laughs> Hi guys, um, it's the end of my third lecture for the day. I was supposed to finish at 2 p.m. but it was done quicker so I kind of have like almost 20 minutes to f before the end but the lecture I finished earlier. So I think I'm going to make use of the time wisely and then look at the lectures because in short we are not having physical we are not having lectures where the lecturers is actually teaching like this everything has been pre-recorded like a podcast and put on there so it is part of our responsibility it's like a self-directed study wise of thing where you go and watch those lectures make up your notes and then get them ready before workshops every thursday so every thursday we have workshops where we go over the lectures for that week so so it will make sense that we should have gone through the lectures from like monday to wednesday before we go to the workshops and i'm just checking right now i for this week i've got one two three four five six lectures to watch and prepare before the workshop on thursdays and even for the workshop we have some pre-workshop questions that we should have gone over before we do the um the one where the lecturer guides us through on thursday so it's looking like a very busy week for a start um but i'm quite excited to to just get back to this routine yeah it's it's a routine that i've missed so much so I'm quite excited to be, get back to it but what i'm going to be doing now since i have 20 minutes before the end of of this lecture to spare so i can start looking at the functional anatomy um, part of the of the central nervous system yeah it has to do with the brain so this is the physiology part of it so i'm going to do the functional anatomy of it and just read that through and um sort of what i like to do is that i like to listen to the recording and make my notes on notability like annotate my notes as i'm listening to the lecturer and it's good because i can pause and play in case the lecturer is too fast for me i can reduce the um the time pace to to balance up with my way of learning and then after that i'm going to use my textbook to see if there's any other information i wanted to add to each subtopic on that main topic and then from there i will then make my notes so like i said all this process and step will take long so i need to at least try and finish at least two lectures today and then maybe i'll do another two tomorrow and then another two on wednesday to just qualify for this six so yeah i need to do two and i also need to make notes on the 
first one we had this one which is on pharmacy practice which is on the business side of pharmacy practice so i need to make my notes on that as well but so far so good um yeah it's been good um i'm just going to do that and i spend the next two hours trying to work on this functional anatomy lecture and then feed myself and i think i have a meet supervisors meeting for my research project at five between five and six so i'll have to take a break from there and then get back to work before i call it a night so yeah that's it really but enough of ranting let's get straight to work So guys, um, it's currently 4.16 p.m. I think my last, that was supposed to be my last lecture was actually optional. Um, it's just about us um, talking about our projects to the years below us and I don't think I need to be there really. It's just kind of telling them the importance of choosing the right projects and I just can't be bothered about that at this point. So what I did was I spent um, the first hour of the lecture, supposed lecture time to start making my notes and I think that's just what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. Make my notes um, till 5, kind of have um, a quick supervisors meeting at 5pm and then just keep making my notes because I plan to make two lectures notes lecture notes today so that's my plan and i think that's it literally that's literally what my first day of getting back to uni actually feels like um it's definitely been a month of i think i had four for almost five months off actually attending lectures and stuff so it's quite exciting i hope this excitement goes on and <laughs> keeps up for the whole of the semester well, that's how i feel about it today um but yeah i'll be spending most of my evening trying to focus on making these two lecture notes as you can see i have my textbook here i've already made listen to the video i made some um, annotations and i'm also using the internet as well to help me to get more information that i feel like is very important for me to know and the main purpose of making sure these notes are done is that during the open book, open book exam, I will have um, all the information I need ready so that I don't have to like start going on Google and looking for stuff around when things are already made and done. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. So that's just it really. Um, so thank you so much for coming with me on my first day of uni. Um, it's been really great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a like, um, share with your friends and let me know in the comment section if you're always if you also get really really excited and hyper of the first day back to school and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good evening bye bye